Okay, so I think now's a good time to get started. Um, as always, uh, my name is Majid. I'm the CEO on, on the Project Taboo, in case anybody's new here and doesn't know who I am. Uh, James will be joining us temporarily here um, as well. And before we get started, I just want to thank each and every one of you uh, for being on this call, for being dedicated holders for our investment as well. Uh, taboo as as an overall hierarchy hierarchical project here uh we're a very young project in our infancy uh you know sometimes i i look back and i think wow i mean four months in and in in the kind of strides that we've made uh collectively as as as, as a project uh with plans serious plans on 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 global domination as i've said before um and and having the the, the types of individuals uh, to create a strong, positive community, it makes me very happy, and and I want to thank each and every one of you for being on this call, for for placing your hard-earned money and trust into Taboo uh, as a brand, as a crypto project, and as a gateway to financial freedom, because that's the number one aim. Uh, all of us are here for the same cause and the same purpose. We all want to become financially free and independent. Uh, that requires money freedom, and that money freedom will bring you time freedom. So, so when it comes to this, you know, I want to again want to thank all of you. Uh, so, when it comes to this voice call two moving forward, James will join us uh, in temp in, a, in a little little while here. We have some exciting news uh, that we want to share with you all. But but of course, these these AMAs and these voice calls, um, you know, is an opportunity for us as core team members to hear community insight suggestions and feed in order to improve on our project plans and, and to continue to keep our investment community happy so i urge all of you uh to to take some time don't be shy uh ask ask some questions uh if, if you have a question on your mind because i assure you there will be other people that are thinking the same thing uh and if you if you speak up uh you'll be speaking up for the benefit of, of, of many others as well. So, so you know, I just want to mention, you know, the last last week has been met with some tremendous growth. You know, we've trended on CMC few times already, um, and and we've had thousands of new holders. Uh, and this, and we're right at the cusp, everybody, right at the cusp. I mean, I keep saying this time and time again. Our project journey together will start the moment our marketplace launches. Now. That doesn't mean we are going to do a hundred times overnight, right? This is a minimally viable product launch. Uh, it is going to be trial and error based as well, but we have some exciting announcements around what this launch is gonna look like. And I believe James won't be able to contain his excitement a little later on this call and, and, and sharing uh, a, a, an amazing uh, marketing plan that we have around the marketplace too. But I just want to let you all know two things. One, if you're a new investor here at Taboo, thank you for investing here. Um, this is a safe, legitimate, long-term play. Now, why do I say that? I say that because we have branded ourselves as a project that is serious, that is committed, and that is here to win. And when we look at the price, I mean, even if we look at the charts today, we are not only holding strong we are steadily growing organically day by day but that's not my concern nor is it james's concern because we're here to build a project that has longevity and longevity can only mean one thing for the price and for the growth on the investment that you've made with us so you know i'm very excited to be on this call james will tune in in a little while too um and and i just i just I want to let you know that when it comes to our marketplace, you know, we are actually very close to launch. I actually got on uh, a call with uh, PowerSoft, again, the engine coin marketplace development team, the best development team that money can buy today is the development team that is working on, on Taboo. And I will say this, I have studied the competition. There is no competition, but I've studied other marketplaces in the adult space and just overall in the nft space there is not a single project today that has what we have just on the simplicity on how our marketplace is run 
how we are able to get a non-crypto centric investor to buy and hold taboo this has been methodically thought out for a long time and and we blow out any competition and this is one of the most exciting parts about this project is knowing that we have not only an advantage but a sustainable one too so give yourselves a pat on the back you are here early in our infancy you're at the right project at the right time with the right team in the right industry with the right motivation of the core team in front of you and the right community there is nothing wrong about why you're here and i think everyone should acknowledge their own abilities in knowing that this is a good hold as well so you can tell i'm very excited you know i want to move forward we'll have some exciting information to share with you a little bit later on this call but but in terms of anticipation on the marketplace launch now I'm a firm believer in always doing it right the first time. So we could have launched maybe prematurely a few days ago, but if we had done that, then James and I would not have had some exciting news to share with you on, on making this launch even more impressive as well. So when it came to PowerSoft and the development team, you know, they had their deliverables ready but we wanted to make final edits and adjustments to the marketplace on the usability of it, on the user friendliness, some of the designs. We wanted to make sure it was being done right the first time and we have the smoothest launch possible. You know, when we look at other projects like Cardano, six years, they didn't have a working product, right? It's only been four months for us. I'm okay with taking an extra week or two to perfect our launch and to have the smoothest launch possible. So the expected the expected timeline here, I believe would be end of next week uh, as, as the latest. And I say this loosely because there's a lot of preparatory work that, that James and I are doing on our end uh, as well to, to make this uh, you know, a fantastic launch for all of you. So, so any, any changes to this timeline, we'll let you know, but, but one thing's for certain, this month, our MVP version one, of our NFT and media marketplace is gonna be going live. That's number one. So, you know, moving forward, you know, I wanna just, you know, open up the floor to any questions that anybody might have. Um, please don't be shy. I, I would love if you could share on this voice call. I love hearing voices, it energizes me. So help me help you by asking on the call as well, aside from just the main chat too, so. so. Does anybody have any any questions? And again, at, at some point on this call, we were going to be sharing some uh, some new developments and 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 news that that I believe all of you are going to be awestruck by as well. So, okay, well, so Kevin, you asked the question: Is the plan to eventually have taboo farms or pools on Pancake Swap? Um, you know, there is. So there is going to be uh, staking that is going to be on this current marketplace uh, that it's going to be launching soon here. Uh, um, you know, farming, of course, farming is 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 a DeFi type protocol that that is very useful across many kinds of crypto projects. That is definitely in in the plans as well. Um, now, in terms of the actual liquidity pools, whether that's on Pancake Swap or on our actual marketplace, that's an entirely different conversation and a pretty detailed tech question that that I'm going to avoid uh, for the time being. But but the plan is, yes, there will be farming and staking pools uh, for for this project, as that adds uh, a nice little flair to utility uh, for 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 the taboo tokens. So so good. Hi, Majid. I do apologize. Sorry, I'm a little bit late to the party. No problem at all. No problem at all. We've 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 gotten started, and and you know we're in the 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 question phase now. So, so I'm just waiting on people to ask anything that's on their mind at the moment. Fabulous, so, yeah. fabulous. Um, I don't know if you noticed. Uh, we've actually just hit the top spot on a coin market cap on the trending list. So we're actually first place as we speak. <laughs> Oh, that's exhilarating, isn't it? It is exhilarating. Yeah. I mean, how perfect timing, you know, just uh, for the marketplace that's around the corner and going to be with us imminently. 
Um, obviously, we're just uh, making some finishing touches to that and, and ultimately perfecting it um, to make sure that we can, you know, maximise the potential yet again of, 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 you know, this fantastic opportunity that currently presents itself. Um, did you uh, let, 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 let the community know um, where we're at no. the, with, with the marketplace? Yeah, yeah, and give, give I've given them you know an estimated timeline, and I've I've, I've helped manage expectations around why where it's going to be, and you know by maybe by the end of next week, and 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 you know how I I am not afraid to delay that if if we need to in order to make sure that we you know we build this out right the first time and do it right the first time, right? So that's so they're they're aware of the the anticipated timeline there, uh, right. as well as the the the, the, the uh, high amount of preparatory work that. That you and I are engaging in to to make sure that that the, the marketplace is uh, is not only functional but but has a lot of variety for for everybody. Yeah, to and happy. I think and I think Magic, you know that that's what it really boils down to, and why it has sort of um, postponed or it hasn't really postponed because we didn't actually put a set date on it, but why it's taken slightly longer than anticipated. Um, and I don't, you know, we don't mind telling you on this call, um, which is sort of going to sort of you know make your hair stand on end um but we are actually we have made the decision and we have made it happen um that we are actually going to launch this marketplace with one million dollars worth of content that is going to be available upon launch Let's just have a moment of silence for everybody on, on the voice call to let that sink in. Exactly. So, so I just want to, you know, let that sink in that we are going to be launching our marketplace with one million dollars worth of content. So that will be picked up from all the mainstream medias that you could possibly imagine and comprehend that will, you know, make waves in this, you know, in this marketplace NFT crypto world, I think it's pretty much unheard of. Um, so that's why Magid and I did make that decision, you know, to, to, to spend a little bit more time than what we would have liked to perfect it and to ultimately maximize that potential and I think that is exactly what we have done. Um, so, you know, a massive well done to the team, yourself, Majid, and everybody involved uh, with the marketplace <coughs> uh, to make this happen um, because it, it is very, very, very special. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, the, the way that the way that James and I saw it is, is you know, we even even from the very beginning with with our first model partners that we decided we we wanted to bring on the chloe terres of the world and and our our desire to be listed on tier one exchanges you know you know that that with every marketing move that we make um you know we're we're always looking at being number one and being on top and and with this one million dollars worth of nfts uh upon launch that is ready and available on a marketplace uh as james said it's unheard of i haven't seen a single marketplace that can provide that level of content and then that kind of volume um and and it's really going to be a differentiator for us another differentiator for us amongst the many differentiators that that that, that have us uh you know you know stand out uh, among the, the 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 plethora of of other marketplaces that are in my mind extremely lackluster in in development and in and in the actual functionality and usability of it all. So, so you know, we're very excited about this. And again, what's really important to remember is, you know, we haven't really ever been a hype and a FOMO based project, but I assure you, there will be a lot of panic buys coming in after our launch. That is something that I can assure you of. So, so. Yeah, and it's, and you know, following up, Majid, on, on, on what you quite rightly say, you know, we are a long-term project, but, that doesn't mean that we aren't going to have, you know, a two, three, four, five times pump in the space of, you know, five, ten days. I mean, it was only last week, I think, if I recall, uh, this time last week, you know, we were five, six million dollar market cap. And now we're, you know, moving upwards towards our all time high again. And, 
you know, we've just it's just come to our attention that we're now trending in first place on coin market cap. I mean, it pretty much says it all. You know, we've got a marketplace that's about to launch imminently, which we've now just announced with a million dollars worth of content. We're trending in first place on coin market cap the largest tracking site in the world that is essentially owned by Binance. I mean, you know, like I've always said, for us getting all of our ducks in a row, I think that's exactly what we've done to now and what we are going to continue to do and ultimately maximise the potential of every single step uh, that we take as a project and a team to obviously ensure that we are doing the best job for you the community and the investor and i think you know to date we're doing our best we're trying our best and i think you know we everybody is doing a fantastic job absolutely absolutely i could not have summarized that better myself so so good 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 any any questions that anybody has you know everybody you, you all understand that when we do these amas you know they are weekly and they're consistent you know some of these amas are going to be uh, you know, an opening uh, and an invitation for for new holders uh, to 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 get familiarized with our project and get to know the core team uh, with the questions they have. But you know, almost every time we're all, we always have new exciting news to share, as we've just told you all. And again, I want to let that sink in: a million dollars worth of NFT content. Now you can imagine that. That's going to take a lot of time to prepare, but we're doing it and we're going to make it happen. And it's on behalf of all of you. So, so yeah, and the word. you know, and like, like you just quite rightly said, Maggie, you know, we are holding these weekly and I do apologize if I'm not as enthusiastic today. I don't know if Maggie mentioned to you, but I'm not uh, particularly well. I'm a bit under the weather, as you can probably hear in my voice, um, but I still ensured that I was on the call. Uh, today and I will ensure and obviously Majid will that we do hold these weekly AMAs. I think it's very important um, and I think it's it's very positive uh, for the project and for the community. So that is something that we will continue to do without fail. Um, and we do have some very big things lined up uh, in terms of, you know, marketing campaigns around the fact that we are launching our marketplace with a million dollars worth of content. Like I always say, how we like to maximize the potential, believe you me, we will be maximizing the potential of launching our marketplace with a million dollars worth of content. Uh, you know, the amount of work uh, that Majid will, you know, will be able to back me up on the amount of work that Majid actually predominantly has put in to actually making this happen is, is you know beyond belief so we will ensure that we make the most of it that's for sure absolutely absolutely so and again our journey together starts from the moment our marketplace launches so great great so i think <clears throat> uh, i think uh an individual named you said can we deposit an nft from other marketplace and withdraw as well so uh you know the nfts at the moment since this is a version one marketplace launch uh you know the nfts that are on our marketplace can obviously be bought and sold and of course you know the aim for us as well is to ensure that that you know in later versions what will happen is is there will be cross cross chain functionality between uh of, of owning nfts across different networks such as ethereum and cardano and solano and all of these other chains again i haven't seen a single project that is that has this kind of uh, technological innovation in detail here, you are going to be able to do NFT transfers between networks. Yes, you have the opportunity if you want, when you own an NFT to try to sell it elsewhere, but why would you, right? Because this marketplace taboo is going to be the, 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 the not only the winning marketplace, but the marketplace of choice for the kind of content that we have. Uh, as well and of course there will always be incentives for keeping nfts within our marketplace with the way that we've designed our business model and you can read more about that on the white paper as well so so yes i mean that's that is the whole point of this is to not only is to bring widespread adoption and users onto our marketplace to use it but but to stay on it right so 
So yeah, and I think like, ultimately, Maggie, just following up on that, you know, yeah. uh, because of our yeah. niche in the market and because and, and because we are very unique, I think essentially it will probably be the only place, um, you know, to, to, to be buying and, and trading and selling the NFTs of the, of, of the nature of the content that we're going to, you know, be, be, be putting on there. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you know, James and I have been on calls with a particular individuals in the past some deals did not go through others you know have um but you know we did have a situation where somebody had brought up well i can take my content and then i can you know content and i can go here or there and we just said go for it try it and then you know come back to us in a few weeks and tell me if it gets sold because there's just such a saturation of of uh, of nfts on on you know platforms like open seas you can try but but because we're so specialized and we have a particular niche, um, you know, you know, it's like it's like it's like I'll make a random example. It's like trying to sell dental equipment, but not to dentists or to you know medical supplies, but not to doctors, right? It's 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 one of those things where where you know our marketplace is gonna be the the the, the central hub for the kind of exclusive content that we have. And yeah, and it's the pinnacle. Doing. It's it, it's the pinnacle. You know, it's the pick. It's the pinnacle of exactly what we're doing, um, and 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 you know, it's exclusive, and nobody nobody can really compete with that. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. So we have a question from Jack. Are there first batch users groups to join in testing website platform? Uh, you know, we haven't done a, a beta launch or an alpha launch for this. You know, uh, you know, again, we have the best development team that money can buy. We've we've I have voiced my concerns about potential bugs that could be coming up on the launch. But again, because it's a minimally viable product launch, expect there to be some bugs. Expect there on a daily basis uh, to have, for us to have to, you know, do some maintenance around the marketplace website and on the, the you know, maybe some, you know, I'm expect it. That's all I got to say. Expect that it, even though we are going to do our best to have a perfect launch, we can never chase perfection. It's not a real concept. There's always going to be room for improvements. And as James has correctly said in past AMAs, um, uh, you know, it's not like we're going version one, version two, version three. It's we're going to have thousands of version updates uh, consistently as we move forward. And, and of course, uh, community, the community will give us uh, some tangible feedback once it's live on, uh, on, on, even more ways that we can we can make alterations to 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 benefit the the, the growth and the prosperity of, of of the marketplace platform as well so so um i think uh joseph said slippage happens but is there a set date for the launch instead of week by week update for stakeholders to look forward to uh again end of next week is the anticipated uh deliverables date for the finite final edits to the design and some of the uh, actual uh, features, working features of the marketplace that that you know James and I have uh, have requested for some final edits. So that's the expected um, you know release date, and I say that loosely or anticipated release date. But as we've mentioned on this call, uh, having a million dollars of content ready can't just just does not happen in one day. So even if the marketplace is ready, you know there could be a small chance that that the the preparation of it still hasn't completed. But we will let you know as we as we get closer to that date, if it's going to be launched at that time at the end of next week. And if we feel confident about that, we will definitely be doing the whole nine yards around you know countdowns, and we already have particular listing sites like coin market call and a bunch of other uh you know forums that that we're going to be to be announcing um uh you know the actual timeline uh and release in a countdown form but but we just again we we just do not want to under promise uh sorry over promise and under deliver i have seen i have actually seen marketplace projects when their product goes live uh the the dumps that ensue because of development team members incorrectly overhyping the launch and making people think they're going to uh you know earn a lambo overnight uh it is just it's brutal and and that is not the way that we are moving forward with, with 
with our project plans and I refuse to, to let that happen. So I hope that, I hope that answers your question, Joseph. So, so good. Um, so good, 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 good. I also Nobody see um, another question here in connection with exchanges. Um, <clears throat> as you guys are probably aware, we have just listed on Whitebit, I think uh, a month, six weeks ago. Um, we have confirmed another exchange listing for quarter four. Uh, so that's obviously, you know, October, November, December this year. That will be happening. It is confirmed. Um, we're also working on a few other big plays. I don't want to start mentioning any names now because <clears throat> I don't really think that there's much value um, mm -hmm. in us doing that. Um, but as as the time gets nearer um, and, and, you know, deals start getting, you know, sealed in a more you know, fashion that I'm happy with uh, uh, concluded to start, you know, name dropping them, then we'll be happy to do so. Like, like Maggie just quite rightly said, you know, we like to sort of under promise and over deliver. And that sort of, and, 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 and that also, you know, uh, reflects in exchanges too. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Any other questions at this moment? Hmm. Hmm. bit of a quieter day today so no i think i think on the last ama that we held last week i think we pretty much covered um everything that needed to be covered i think it was a very good uh successful prosperous uh ama that we held and i think you know um the majority of things of, of, of sort of objections and and questions that people had were, were overcome on that particular call which is good and that's what's good about holding these amas uh, so regularly um, that, that, you know, there shouldn't be too much to talk about because, you know, it means we're doing our job uh, correctly, um, you know, day by yeah. day. Absolutely. Well, J Jack does, does have a question. Is when, when we recruit thousands of creators or how many creators have applied for the Taboo Marketplace? Okay, great. So, you know, to get into a little bit of detail here. So, so the the way that the marketplace platform is going to work is there will be creators that will have the ability to register and conduct a kyc with the input of a lot of their background information for us to get an understanding of who they are as a creator and their reputation that they have we we'll have there's going to be something called an admin panel where we get to approve or reject their uh, uh um request to become a content creator so this is our filtering system where we can still keep exclusivity scarcity on our marketplace while also maintaining the highest level of quality on co content creators on the marketplace so so uh there is you know something i will mention as well you know and this is the mindset difference i want you all to understand the mindset of the core team members that you are investing your hard-earned money in because because at the end of the day you know a dream is only a dream until it's put into a plan and once it's in a plan it becomes a vision and once it's a vision then there can become the possibility of execution in in delivering on those plans but you know the way that james and i think and work is is you know we could theoretically go after every single individual model that 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 you know is 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 extremely reputable and has millions of followers which again we have these quality model partners with us already but but we're thinking bigger than that why would we go and go after individuals like like if you're running a let's say you're running a mortgage business you can run after the individual clients i love this analogy right uh that's still thinking too small because if you're a mortgage broker, you should be looking at partnering with the realtors that bring you all of the mortgage business. We have landed deals with particular creators where I'll tell you right now that it's going, the floodgates are going to open. Once we start with this $1 million worth of NFTs, you are going to see later this year, creators are going to be begging for us to allow them the chance to use our marketplace to feature their content. And I think James will agree on this. Yeah, this and I mean, an just to follow up on that, you know, yeah. we're not, when we say that we're launching the marketplace with a million dollars worth of content, 
we're not launching it with a million dollars worth of content with only six different partnered ambassadors. The girls that yes. actually you see that we've partnered with, <clears throat> we don't look at them as just simply content providers for the marketplace. We look at them as a bit more than that, that they're yes. actually partnered ambassadors. However, when mm -hmm. this marketplace launches, you're going to see a significant amount of, you know, household names as well as not so household names of models that, you know, are going to tell a story that you're going to re do, do your research on that we haven't even spoken or, you know, announced to the community yet. The models that exactly. you guys know about are just our actual partnered ambassadors as such, whereas on the marketplace, there's going to be an array of different models, an array of different content providers, um, and, it, and it really will tick all of your boxes. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, good, good. So, I think Janice said, could you tell a bit more regarding the material that was made for the market? I, I don't quite understand the question. It's a little bit of a vague question. So, um, what kind of material are you talking about? And please elaborate on what you mean by market as well. Yeah, I see Janice is typing. Okay, so, so, um, you know, as, as James had mentioned, right, you know, every, every NFT that's going to be on this marketplace is going to be telling a story. Uh, and I believe, we believe that the story and the narrative behind an NFT is, 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 is really important. Now, now they are going to be photos. There are going to be some that are going to be video type animated collectible type series NFTs as well. But if you look at our white paper and you look at the, uh, the, the roadmap of the development of our marketplace, uh, with the various versions that are in place, uh, I hope you understand, Jan, is that, you know, not only we're we trying to become the playboy of crypto, but eventually with those later versions that will get released, that we are going to be having aspects like tipping creators, staking onto individual profiles, video and streaming services, virtual reality, you know, type NFTs. You know, we I know we focus on the concept of NFTs, but that is really just the starting point. What we didn't want to do is we didn't want to overwhelm our community by sharing all of the amazing features that are going to be on this amazing marketplace where, you know, smoke is blowing out of people's ears because simplicity for us is the name of the game. And, and as James always says, you know, you got to crawl before you can walk and sprint. So, you know, uh, the releasing this marketplace with just, you know, simple JPEG NFTs and some video uh, style NFTs is is just the starting point. Uh, you know, take a look at the white paper, and you'll you'll see uh, um, you know just how much more uh, value our marketplace is going to bring for you uh, in terms of uh, what's going to be included in it. So, so I hope that answers your question. So, uh, so Marius says I have a question. Let's say that a content creator is a photographer, a plastic artist. How do we desire to create an NFT in an adult niche? Can you apply on the marketplace? Yeah, yeah, people will be able to apply. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, photographers will be able to apply. Animated designers will be able to apply. But again, you know, just like Playboy, uh, as 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 a brand, uh, they don't just accept anyone. So so these these content providers have to be top of the line, um, and and well respected in their communities um as well because the quality of the nft comes down to the quality of the content creator that's something i've always known so so um so we we we, we have a little bit of a balancing act uh in terms of providing enough volume for the marketplace so that there is variety for all types of preferences uh and and price points for individuals that want to shop on this marketplace too uh but we have a balancing act on trying to ensure that 
we don't overdo it so much with volume that we compromise quality. So, so yes, uh, to answer your question, yes, they will be able to apply to become a content provider. So that's a very good question that you asked that actually. So good, good. Does anyone wanna dare to speak on the voice call or? Okay, well, I think that would pretty much round up today, Majid. Yep. Um, yep. And, you know, sorry that I haven't been as talkative uh, as, as you know, previous AMAs. I'm not feeling too good, um, but I, I try my best to obviously participate and be involved as much as I could. I'm still working, you know, nonstop behind the scenes. We're concluding deals, making things happen. So I do apologize. I'm, you know, not as enthusiastic as, 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 as normal. Yeah, no, we're I'm happy that you were able to still attend the call in the state that you're in. So, so um, yeah, I think this will be a good good time to to wrap up uh, the AMA again. We 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 have we hold consistent weekly AMAs as well. Um, you know, our weekly updates are always there on Medium every Sunday. Anybody that you know that you know hasn't been on this call that is an investor. Uh, urge them when we release uh, our YouTube recording of this for them to to uh, listen in on this uh, as well because you know staying educated and informed around uh, the investment decisions that you have uh, is, is 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 quite a rational and and sensible thing to do. Um, other than that, again, our marketplace is imminently launching and it's right around the corner. We are releasing a million dollars worth of NFT content right from the woodworks and at the very start and our large scale marketing efforts, they're already moving forward now as we speak. So give yourselves a pat on the back. You are here early uh, and the growth potential on this is, is, is quite lucrative for everyone. And, and where we're very happy on the progress we've made so far and, and you know, more exciting things are going to happen together on our journey to financial freedom and independence. So thank you. Exactly. Everybody. And, you know, in, enjoy this time, guys, you know, you know, we're trending in first place right now in CMC. This is your time now. Sit back, uh, relax, enjoy it. This is what we've all, you know, been working towards, what we've all been waiting for. Um, and now it's all starting to come through, come to fruition and come together. So, you know, enjoy it. Take it all in. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Great. Thank you, everybody, for your time. And, and we, we look forward to chatting with you all soon. Fantastic. Thank you, Majid. And thanks to the rest of the team. Speak to you soon.